In question 38, we're asked at how many points in the xy plane do the graphs of y equals 0.25 x to the fourth plus 0.4 x to the third minus 1.2 x squared minus 0.75 x minus 0.25 and y equals 0.5 x minus 2 intersect. And once you see those decimals there, I mean, there are ways that we could handle this uh, algebraically, but it's going to be much simpler to do this using the graphing calculator. And so I'll call that up. And we need to put in these two functions and then look for their points of intersection. So in order to put in a function, we're going to go to y equals, and we're going to type in 0.25x to the fourth power plus 0.4x to the third power plus or minus 1.2x to the second power minus 0.75x minus 0.25. And once you've double checked that, you can hit enter and go down to y2 to put in the second one, and that would be 0.5x minus, minus 2. And when you've checked it out, hit enter, and we have the two functions in. Now the next thing that you're going to have to look at here is to find out uh, what kind of window is going to be suitable for this. And I would always just start off with, uh, with Zoom Standard. So we come over here to Zoom and option number 6, Zoom Standard, and then we'll automatically go in and graph. Now it's kind of hard to see in detail there, so we're definitely going to need to zoom in a little bit. And I think that all the action really happens between x is negative 4 and positive 4 and between y is negative 4 and positive 4. So I'm going to change my window to go negative 4, positive 4 by 1's for x, negative 4, positive 4 by 1's for y, and go back and graph again. Now it appears to me that on the left it doesn't intersect and that on the right it intersects in two places, but I still should be a little bit more uh, cautious with that. And so one way we can do that is to zoom box. Now zoom box, notice that the cursor is uh, flashing at the origin there and by continually moving it over a little bit past this point here, I can stop and then hit enter. Now it's going to begin to drag a box and I want to just make sure that I get that and then I can start to the right and I just want to make sure I'm going to get the whole picture inside of my box and then it will fill up the whole screen with that much there. Hit enter and I can see that it definitely does not uh, intersect at the bottom, but it intersects twice on the right. Now, um, unfortunately, the graph is kind of covered up by the numbers there, but uh, we did see it just before uh, the numbers showed up. So this intersects, these two graphs intersect in exactly two places. And if I wanted to, I could go back into the window. And my problem is that the y max is too high, so I can make that uh, to be negative 0.5, I believe. And then there I can see it perfectly. So I'm going to go ahead and, and then just paste a copy of that uh, window so you can see clearly that there are, in fact, exactly two solutions. So the answer will be B in that case.